Hey guys, so I figured I would do a video and I'm currently wearing my herb syrup. I don't know what's that. I always want to say syrup, but it's herb sub uh, hoodie. If you guys didn't see it, hmm. don't bully my breed or something like that. And um, I love it. It's awesome. Um, I have, like, when I go, or if I have money, like, I'll go to the dollar store and I'll, like, stack up on all these fake nails, because they're cheap, and you just need a bottle of glue, so, like, I have them in bulk, I guess, from the past. So, I did nails again, and this time they look like, let's see, they're, like, carbon-looking, I don't know, I like them. Um, but the main point of me doing this video is I just got done reading Scars. Uh, I got, this was on my wish list and one of my viewers sent it, Ryan. Um, and I'm just going to read the description. Kendra hasn't felt safe since her devastating memories surface of being, sex being sexually abused. She can't remember the most important detail, her abuser's identity. And she's sure someone is always watching her, following her, making her fear for her life. To cope, Kendra cuts. Something she works hard to hide. When her parents aren't helpful, Kendra finds support in therapy and from her classmate Megan, a friend, and maybe more. Will Kendra find out who's stalking her before it's too late? Will her terrible secrets be exposed? Scars is the story of one teen fighting past the frightening path to the truth. And, um, a lot of the, like, comments or, you know, critiques it says, um, uh, teens will be on the edge of their seats. This is one heck of a good book. Um, Scars belongs on every high school library shelf. Scars is a must read for any teen. I couldn't put it down. So basically, um, and Ellen Hawkins, the woman that writes the books, Crank, Glass, um, a couple other ones I forgot right now. Um, she put one and it says a brave read in one sitting ex except when you have to put it down to breathe novel. So I read it and I didn't know the outcome. It was quite surprising but there is at least um, at least 12 pages in here for people that are having trouble with cutting, reaching out to someone. As you guys know I'm a previous cutter myself so it was very very helpful to realize that you're not alone and you can be happy but you you got to be happy with yourself and just learn to block different memories and learn to you know help yourself other than self mutilation um so I moved on to leftovers this is another book that came from my wish list I need to add some more books because I I'm almost done. Um, and this is about uh, Blair and Ardeth are best friends who have committed an unforgivable act in the name of love and justice. But in order to understand what could drive two young women to such extreme measures, first you'll have to understand why. You'll have to listen as they describe parents who are alternately absent and smothering, classmates who mock and shun anyone different, and young men who are allowed to hurt and dominate without consequence. You will have to learn what it's like to be a teenage girl who locks herself in a bedroom door at night, who locks her bedroom door at night, who has been written off by adults around her as a damaged goods, a girl who has no one to trust except the one person she's forbidden to see. You'll have to understand what it's really like to be forgotten and abandoned in America today. Are you ready? Now, this one is written by, um, Laura Weiss, I think, but... I really wanted this one, so I'm getting into it. It's kind of like a Blair artist, Blair artist chapter type thing, but it's good so far. Um, today's Saturday. I just want to say hi and hope you guys have a good weekend. It's raining where I'm at, so be careful if you're driving in rain. Um, trying to think. But yeah, my dog loves me, and my dog is like my best friend, and... I just can't get enough of him. He's so sweet. 
Like, I have not kissed, it's going to sound really bad, but I have not kissed a guy in... Eleven, nine months, nine or ten months, and so every time my dog gives me kisses, it's like, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not like, mm -hmm, you know, kissing, making out with my dog, but when he just like, you can tell he loves you, it's it's a great feeling, especially when you don't have anyone around. So yeah, that's the weirdo fact from Amanda today. Um, take care, you guys. Much love always. Mwah. Peace out.